Welcome back to the vlog. In this episode, we start the long run back to the Bay Area from Central Oregon. This ride would take us south along the US 97 through Klamath Falls, Redding, and back home to the East Bay, Northern California. It was intended to be a pretty much a straight shot, but we ended up taking a few detours as usual. Along the way, we enjoyed a day at Crater Lake on what ended up being just a perfect day. The lake looked like a mirror against the stunning blue sky and snow-capped mountains. Continuing south, we found the Lava Beds National Monument, just past the California and Oregon border. It's a broad lava flow with tunnels made by the lava all throughout the area. Great place to explore, lots of fun. After which, passing through literally the middle of nowhere, our last stop was Redding before heading home. What a journey, what an adventure. Even after 14 days on the road, we were sad to see it coming to an end. There is just nothing like getting out on a motorcycle and exploring. It's just a wonderful experience. There just isn't anything quite like it. Glad to have you along for this last leg of the journey. Hope you enjoy it. Hope you enjoyed as much as we did making it. If you like our vlog, do us a favor and subscribe. Hit the like button, help us build out our channel. It makes these videos possible. Okay, with that, let's go. Ah, taking a quick break. We're at the Meadow Falls something rest area. I don't know. About halfway to Klamath. Another hour, I think it is. Always on a motorcycle trip, bring cookies. Without cookies, Never gonna make it. We got another four or five days and perfect weather now. Just caught up with this great, great, great weather. But man, I'm gonna miss it when this wraps up. Saturday, we'll get back home. And then we're back on the road again um, in August. We're gonna go out to uh, Colorado for the uh, Four Corners Motorcycle Rally. Same kind of deal. We'll make a two week deal out of it. We'll do. Uh, a roundabout way. I've not been through Colorado before. Uh, not, I mean, I've flown through there, but I've not been up there on a bike. I haven't even been up there on a car. So this will be a great opportunity to explore the Rockies a bit and see what's up that way. But yeah, so far, amazing trip, an amazing experience, all kinds of fun. If you can do it, even if you can't do it, no, get out there, get that motorcycle, get on the road, get out of the house. That's all I really got to say is just get out of the house. Get out there and see this world of ours. It's a wonderful place to see. So we're heading up towards Crater Lake from Klamath Falls. A beautiful morning today, beautiful day for a ride. I think it's Thursday or Friday, something like that. I don't know, I just track of it for a while. Anyway, uh, we just got off the 97. Turned off onto what I think is the 62, so that should take us straight up to Crater Lake. A little bit of snow up that way, it's pretty high elevation, so we'll see as far as we can get. See what we can see once we get up there. Looking forward to it, I've always wanted to be up that way. We've never had a chance to do it, so today we're going to take the chick, see what's up there. Um, yeah, looking forward to a nice ride, it should be a lot of fun. So, glad to have you along, let's get going.
All right, we just passed into Crater Lake. We're at Annie Falls, but you can just barely see. Can't really see it from here. So hopefully we'll get a better view as we go up the hill a little bit. It's amazing. We went from open farmland, kind of desert, high desert scrub, to just really intense forest. Beautiful pine forest all the way up through here. We're gonna keep going, see how far we can get. Beautiful ride today, beautiful weather. Uh, it's great to get out. up to Crater Lake but uh, well, we're not quite there yet but we found the snow line that's pretty cool roads are clear but plenty of snow up here surprising for late June weather's wonderful though it's like 70 degrees out here oh uh, man this is a great drive if you've ever been up here I gotta warn you though getting into the park took a while that was a long line once we got in it's all good it's not all that crowded or anything it just took forever to get in but god beautiful countryside I haven't seen snow like this in a long time. It's pretty cool to come see it. The west side of the lake, apparently uh, that drive is open. The east side, they haven't cleared yet. So we're gonna stick to the west side, continue on around, see where this takes us, and then go from there. Man, this place is amazing. I had no idea. Never even never been up here before. It looks like a big giant mirror sitting in the middle of the mountains. It's the coolest thing I've ever seen. I'll tell you what, when I go see the world, this is the way to do it. Uh, this place is pretty amazing. Views are incredible. Lake is unbelievable. I expected crowds, it's not that way. If we'd come up here a week ago, this would have been sleet and snow. We probably wouldn't have been able to even get in here. Oh my gosh. Sometimes it just works out. You know, we saw the painted hills. That place is gorgeous. This place is gorgeous. Amazing countryside. Whether it's high desert, whether it's the coast, if you like the outdoors, Oregon has definitely got it. So we just came down from Crater Lake. That place is crazy beautiful. Uh, back down into farm country. We're gonna be heading back into uh, Klamath Falls. Pretty beautiful countryside. I tell you, pretty amazing. Hey cow, what do you want? God, I love this place. Yeah. 
uh, good morning. Alrighty, so we're just crossing back over into California. We got to take a slightly different route. Instead of going down the five, which would take us up through Shasta, we took the 39 south. Um, we just started, so we're about probably an hour, or well, not even that, maybe 40 minutes south of Klamath Falls. I wanted to take a little more of a scenic route. You know, we've been up the, the five a bunch of times, this big freeway. So I want to do something a little bit different this time. Um, but we got a couple of hours on the road, about three hours, give or take, uh, a little bit more, maybe three and a half, depending on how many places we stop. Uh, but we're going to take the scenic route, stick to the back routes. We'll spend a night in Reading, and then we'll head back home. Thanks for coming along. Tons of fun. We'll see you in a bit. Let's get going. of a detour. We're going down the 39, which became the 139, the California border. But, uh, we saw a sign for the Lava Beds National Monument. We figured we'd come take a take a look. It's 10-15 uh, minutes off, well, more like 20-25 I guess, off the 139 just across the border. Glad we made the, the slight change in course. This place is pretty cool. Just wide, wide, wide open spaces. Amazing, amazing scenery. I think we're gonna take this route instead. It's prettier than the 139. 139 looked to be just basically farmland. This looks way, way more, more gorgeous. So I'm gonna run through here. GPS has me come in all the way through the park and then out on the other side. I'm not exactly sure what's on the other side just yet, uh, but we'll check it out as we get down that way. Guys, beautiful. Just a huge basin. Lava flow that must have come through here. God, that would have been just incredible. So, uh, we're at the Devil's Homestead Crossing at the moment. Uh, this goes all the way through. I think it'll take us back close to, closer to Shasta. I could be wrong though. We'll see as we get down the road a bit. That's half the fun of doing this stuff is just taking a road and figuring out where it goes. Actually, that's most of the fun. Quite a bit further to go here today, but that's good. But it's perfect. Scenery is beautiful. Can't beat it. Alrighty guys, we're gonna get on down the road here a bit, get a drink of water, refresh a bit, and then we'll go see where this road takes us. Uh, then I'll report back once we figure out where this uh, where this exit. I'm guessing it's probably gonna be closer to the five, but I could be completely wrong. We'll see as we get down there. Alrighty, see you in a bit. at the Lava Beds National Monument. Back to the desert. We just decided to head off in this direction. Let's see what's here. It's beautiful out here. A little bit hot. Desert, like desert for real people kind of desert. Beautiful countryside. Go check out this cave, see what's what. Okay. 
could bring bright lights though, so we can't go very far. That's right, we can see. Oh, oh. This place is really cool. It's got all these little caves everywhere. Of course, we didn't bring anything but a little light, so we can't really go too deep into any of them. I can explore a little bit, see what's there. Try not to get eaten by a bat. I don't want to be a vampire. That'd not be good. Oh, nice and cool. All right, this is much better. See, it's like a refrigerator. Years. <laughs> Experience the dark. Woo! <laughs> I know my thing won't work. We're in the lower sentinel cave. It's really cool. Go from 80 degrees to like 60 degrees. It's like walking into an icebox. Oh, very nice. Oh, there's the entrance. I've got a teeny tiny light. It doesn't do it. Unfortunately, I can't see nothing. Pretty cool though. Definitely worth visiting this place. Man, the places you find. We had no idea this was even here. We just sort of made a turn. And uh, glad we did. This is a way cool kind of place. Apparently, this has all, it has more lava tubes, I guess they are, but caves than any other place in Western uh, United States. I think I got that right. It's really cool. It's kind of creepy, but it's really cool. Look how they, uh, I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but you can see the lava formations around the cliff or around the entrance of the cave. Yeah, a hot, a hot desert day. This looks like cold there. And I kind of cool off a little bit. Way cool. All right, back to the land of the living. Uh, 20 degrees, at least cooler in that uh, cave. Back up to the bike, see what else is here. Alrighty, so now we know what the middle of nowhere actually looks like. This is the middle of nowhere. So it's about 10 miles on this uh, single lane road out in the middle of nowhere. Uh, <laughs> yep, if you really want to get a sense of what nowhere looks like, we just found it. This is it. Alrighty, so we're uh, at the Fort, Fort, Fort Crook Museum. That's 70 miles from Redlands. So we ended up going back on that 139, uh, and then it, uh, which is, I guess, heads towards Susanville. And then we came over the mountains into, uh, oh goodness, Fall City, I think, and then Fort Crook. I'll have to get the directions uh, more correctly. Beautiful ride, but long, just, uh, high up into the mountains and then back down into the valleys. Wonderful ride right through the countryside. There is nothing out there. And if you want to get a sense of uh, getting out in the middle of nowhere, that'll do it. Anyway, we're going to rest here for a little bit, take a quick breather, get a cool bit to drink, and then we'll be on our way. Ready? Let's get going. Well, good morning. We're just getting packed up on our last day. We uh, stayed here in Reading at the Hope Inn. Lovely little place. Nice little place to stay. It's not a common hotel. It's kind of like a Airbnb, really. But really, really pretty. It was uh, 104 degrees yesterday. 
so it was just incredibly hot. Uh, we're going to try and get out a little bit early, see if we can beat the heat today. A uh, little bit sad. This is our last day. Quick trip down into the Bay Area uh, and then home. So it's been a really amazing couple of weeks. Really, really enjoyed this trip. Sad to see it end. Looking forward to the next time. But um, just an amazing ride up the Oregon, along the coast, Central Oregon, across the Cascades, etc. Just beautiful, beautiful scenery. Amazing, amazing journey, amazing road trip. Nothing like getting out on a motorcycle. That's just, uh, yeah, it's hard to put it in words. Hot, cold, windy, rain, it's all good. Makes for the adventure. <laughs>